As leaders, we have the power to choose how we lead our teams and represent our organizations every single day. And yet, all too often, these choices are made without intention, without understanding the impact our actions may have on those around us. Successful leaders, however, choose a different path. They choose to lead by example, set a tone and drive positive results. They choose a leadership style that is authentic, that not only reflects their own values, but also resonates with the organization's core values. They choose to control their emotions and thus their reactions to being better able to respond effectively in any situation. And this is where emotional intelligence comes in. It's the ability to understand your own emotions, biases and assumptions and those of others, enabling you to work more effectively with people, managing difficult conversations more skillfully and creating a workplace atmosphere that encourages collaboration and fosters respect. And with the right tools and techniques, anyone, regardless of their role or seniority, can unlock their potential as a leader and represent themselves and their organization best possible. Because very often people then ask me, so give me, give me a recipe. Tell me something, what should I wear? How should I pose? What should I say? And I say, well, it's not as easy as that because look at your yellow labels. We have 300 individual people here. They all want to be known for something different. But if you want to fill up the gaps between your yellow label and your orange label and possibly what you found out in between, I have a few general recommendations for you. One principle I found is true for all of us and for every successful leader I've ever met in any organization is that successful leaders they appear, behave and communicate like successful ones long before they actually became one. So if you want to become the CEO of your company, you have to appear and behave and communicate online and offline like a CEO already now. Because you have to give people the chance to identify you as CEO material. Another concept that I find is true is that successful leaders, they appear, behave and communicate confident. They are just who they are, no matter their age, no matter their body, no matter their gender. They walk into the room and we all know they are there because they are confident. If you are not confident about yourself, how can you expect us to feel that way when we experience you? We can feel that. You must love yourself every single day more than you did yesterday because we need to feel your confidence too and successful leaders they appear and behave and communicate authentic they know exactly what is on their yellow label and they live by it that's why sometimes we have leaders who walk into rooms in cowboy boots or in flip-flops or in a hoodie because they know exactly who they are and they live by it their entire life. But as long as you didn't invent a multi-billion dollar company in your garage, you are not allowed to wear flip-flops and a hoodie at work. But you can live by your word, your authentic true self, the word that you have written down on your yellow label. Successful leaders appear, behave and communicate professional. And yes, professional might have looked different 50 years ago than it looks now. Professional might look different in Silicon Valley than it does in New York. But there must be a base, a red thread. And that has a lot to do with the respect that we show to ourselves and each other. Because really successful leaders, they appear, behave and communicate respectful. First and foremost, to themselves, because they understand I am the most important person in my life. It's not your spouse, it's not your boss, it's not HR. You are the one who is responsible for yourself and therefore you must show yourself some respect and start investing in yourself first. Making sure that you care about yourself first so that others believe you have the ability to care about them too. And even if you think they only have the big picture in mind, the reality is that successful leaders, they control every puzzle piece 
of their image. They appear, behave, and communicate very controlled. Very controlled. Because they put together a story for us every single day, online and offline, because they know how they can influence the way we think about them. A leader with high emotional intelligence is better equipped to understand the needs of their team and make decisions that reflect their genuine care for those they lead. Leaders with strong emotional intelligence set an example of empathy and respect that radiates throughout the organization. An image of leadership that shows up every day in the way they appear, behave and communicate in person and in the digital space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. During the last seven seconds, something fascinating happened in this room. Something that happens in your life every single day, in average around 3,000 times. I'm sure you have heard the saying, perception is reality. But is that true? My clear and straightforward answer is yes and no. Customers' perception of you and your company's brand might be wrong, but it is real to them. Yet you have to deal with it as if it would be accurate. I'm in the business of first impressions. I help individuals to understand what their first impression says about them and what impact it has on how they see themselves and how the world sees them. Sylvie Di Giusto. What's your name? Sylvie Di Giusto. Sylvie Di Giusto. Your brain just made up to 11 major decisions about me. You have already decided if I'm knowledgeable or not. You have already decided if I'm trustworthy or not. In fact, you have already decided if you would buy from me or not. Make me feel important. Because that's all customers want in that phase. Show me that I am important to you. That you care about me. Your customers want that things happen exactly the way they want them to happen. They write their own stories in their brains. And if things don't happen the way they expect them to happen, they are actually disappointed. They don't trust you anymore. What could your sales and marketing team do to check in with your clients afterwards? How did we do? How was it? With the one system, you can give them what they know that they need. That's why they came to you. But with the other huge system with the potential, you can give them what they even didn't know that they needed. And for every successful leader I've ever met in any organization is that successful leaders, they appear, behave and communicate like successful ones long before they actually became one. Because you have to give people the chance to identify you as CEO material. What are the three core values and beliefs you and your team agreed on to show? Is it respect? Is it care? Is it trust? What are you showing to your customers and how are you implementing them? Do you know what your employees actually are talented in? What are their natural talents? And do you allow them to bring them to the table into your customer experience? Sylvie is great to work with. She is energetic and she engaged the audience. I would absolutely recommend Sylvie. She was impressive enough that I wanted to buy her book and I want to take it back and share with others and I'm definitely going to recommend her. Could you please write down the first word that comes to your mind when you think of me? That's a long word. <laughs> very interactive, very engaging. Engaging, fun. Truly engaging. Engaging. So it was incredibly engaging. Really engaging. One of the most engaging sessions I've been to. Your image is like a puzzle, a puzzle that you put together every single day. It's like thousands of pieces. And the only person who can control this is you. Thank you.